me. I'm your assistant principal, Ms. Tonelli, and I am here for your patriotic observance. 1775, tensions between the American colonists, colonies and the British government approached the breaking point, especially in Massachusetts, where patriot leaders formed a shadow revolutionary government and trained militias to prepare for armed conflict with the British troops occupying Boston. On April 18th, British troops marched against the Patriot Arsenal at Concord to capture Patriot leaders Samuel Adams and John Hancock, known to be hiding at Lexington. At about 5 a.m., 700 British troops marched into Lexington to find 77 armed Minutemen under Captain John Parker waiting for them on the town's common green. Suddenly, the shot heard around the world was fired from an undetermined gun, and a cloud of musket smoke soon covered the green. When the brief battle of Lexington ended, eight Americans lay dead or dying, and 10 others were wounded. Only one British soldier was injured, but the American Revolution had begun. The battles of Lexington and Concord were the first of the battles of the American Revolution, a conflict that would escalate from a colonial uprising into a war that seven years later would give birth to the independent states, the United States of America. And that has been your patriotic observance. Now let's talk about golf. Congrats to the boys golf team for their outstanding performance on Tuesday. In addition to winning the ninth match of the season to bring their record 9-3, the boys tied the all-time Valley High School school record with a team score of 212. This was made possible by personal bets from Celestino Legend Flores with a 47. Cesar Villanueva with a 41, and Eric Martinez, who shot in a sizzling 37. Looks like the extra practice Eric put in over the summer has paid off. Not to be outdone, David Merlin remains supreme, tying his personal best with a 35. Wow. All right. Now we'll throw it over to your ASB president. Once again, good morning, Valley High. The ASB elections are tomorrow. There are competitive races in three categories. ASB Vice President, juniors, sophomores, freshmen may vote. Senior Class President, only juniors can vote. And Junior Class President, only sophomores can vote. We will future speeches by the candidates of these office offices today and tomorrow. Here are today's... Hey guys, so if you guys don't know me, I'm Maris Casillas. I have been in ASB for one year. I have been in sports for three years, doing cross soccer and track. And I have been in the Culinary Academy for two years. Being your guys' vice president next year will mean so much to me because I want to make a change here at Valley. I really want to bring back some dances, be in more events, and go to more games. I really want to make our year count, especially for our seniors since we're leaving. And vote for me this Friday. Mariska see us during second period. What's up, y'all? My name is Alexander Duarte, or just simply Duarte. I have been in ASV since my freshman year, and it has been so life-changing. I would love to be your vice president and be able to help lead an amazing group of individuals next year for the benefits of the school. I want to be able to create next year's ASV Senate, a place where any individual could go and have the equal opportunity and have their voices be heard no matter what, or where they came from, or what grade level they are, or what grade they have in math. Because look, we all know that math, we're not doing so well. Hi, cousins. So, I have been in ASB through the worst of times, but also through the best of times. And I know what we can do next year to make it more spirited and to be able to incorporate a whole slew of events. I recognize that this position comes with lots of responsibilities and that requires dedication and hard work. I am confident that I am up to the task. Being in leadership has truly changed my mindset for what I want for the future, especially the future of my ASB. So I would appreciate your vote and your consideration. Hashtag votes for the vice president. 
Good morning, Falcons. My name is Karen Gano, and I am the current junior class president. As you may or may not know, elections are literally right around the corner. This Friday, you will be able to vote for your cabinet for the upcoming school year. With this in mind, I am running for the senior class president. I am running for this position because I have worked hard to prepare for my last year and being part of uh, ASB for two years now. I have grown a love and passion um, towards making our senior year memorable here at Valley. It is important for me because next year will be our last year juniors. So let's make it count. And I hope that you will support me and will vote for me this Friday as your senior class president for the upcoming school year. Thank you. What's up, Falcons? My name is Jose Nieto, and I am running for senior class president. Um, think pro my proposals to become your senior class president is I will take y'all to Disneyland because I know you guys want to go there. And plus, I will, with the help of my ASB, of the ASB cabinet and members, I will create fundraisers to help um, create, to get money for sweaters and shirts. And also, one important huge factor that I'm running for senior class is because I want all of your guys' voices to be heard because I know what it feels like to go to those assemblies and like not have one at all and later on not get like your overall feedback of what it was. But I really wanna hear your voices because that's huge, that's really important in this school to make Valley a great school um, forever for future generations. Um, that's why I started to campaign for senior class president. That's why I hope I get your vote and vote for me, Hosina, to senior class president. Good morning to you all. My name is Roxana Alvarez, but the majority of the people who know me, they know me as Roxy. I am one of the candidates running to be next year's class president. My goal for this campaign is to gain your trust and permission to represent our 2020 graduating junior class. I will be your ears and mouth. I will listen to your voice and speak up on any questions, concerns, or ideas you may have. We will soon have two years of high school left, and it's important to me, as it should be to you, that we make the best of it. We can't allow the stress of junior year to bring us down. I promise to bring new opportunities to our class and hopefully make any junior activities as fun as possible. All I need is your participation and we can make it happen. Elections are this Friday. Regardless of who you vote, who you vote for, your vote is important. The ones elected will be the ones representing you and our school. So be conscious of your choice. Hello everyone, my name is Andrea Flores and I am a sophomore who is running for junior class president. Many of the reasons why you should vote for me as your junior class president is because I am very responsible, respectful, a hard worker, sociable, and most importantly, I am fun. If you vote for me as your junior class president, your junior year will not be boring. If you choose me as junior class president, you made the perfect choice. Not only will you get one of the most friendliest person to ever meet and talk to, but you can expect many more fun activities, challenges, and anything else you guys would like to do. I will try to make it possible. And remember, vote for Andrea Flores for junior class president. Hi, my name is Magali Serrano, and I'm hoping to be next year's junior class president. Many of you probably know me as the girl who was walking around with a neck brace, or you've probably seen my weird flyers around the school. You guys should vote for me because I have a huge interest in improving the majority of our school's activities. I can bring back the fun and the spirit the school used to have if I'm in a leadership position. I'll make the dance teams very exciting, and I'll advertise as much as I can to make sure they don't get canceled. If they get close to canceling them, then I can make a plan so that way the people who are looking forward to it can at least experience them in a smaller version. I can make many competitions once or twice a week, maybe start sports tournaments where it's teachers versus students, and making the assemblies, the assembly games more fun would be great too. And what's a competition without some prizes for the winners? This is just a taste of what I can bring to the table. If you want the full story, vote for me for next year's junior class president on Friday, April 20th. And Falcons, just a reminder that at 315, our, our softball team will, will go up against Savannah High School and on the road, golf and tennis. Okay, now Falcon Concert Contest. Use your Chromebook to answer today's trivia questions to earn points towards our Falcon Concert Contest. All correct answers will receive five 
star points in the concert category. And the first 59 correct answers will be entered in a drawing to win Bally Swag. More contest details coming tomorrow. Today's question. What do these terms have in common? Fearless, 1889 <laughs> reputation. Find your entry form in the Falcon Flash Google Classroom. And now I'm going to throw it over to Ms. Gibbs. Good morning, Falcons. Today we have two scholarships that are due for the class of 2018. First is the B&D Towing Scholarship. This is for students that have participated for two or more years in football, wrestling, and or the track and field throwing team. Uh, the application is available in my Google Classroom. The code is at the bottom of the announcement. It's in your Falcon Flash. You can turn that in. I will be on campus until 4 p.m. today. If I'm not in my office, slide it under my door. The other scholarship is the Russ Ford Memorial Scholarship. This is for students that promoted from Spurgeon Intermediate and are currently going to graduate from Valley High School. It's a Valley-only scholarship. It's easy to fill out. No letters of recommendation. So we hope to have a lot of applicants for both of those scholarships. Uh, hey, juniors, are you ready for the college application process? That is going to begin in less than six months. So if you feel like you would need some assistance during your senior year, there is an organization known as Reality Changers. They are from San Diego, and they have a chapter here in Santa Ana that are working with Santa Ana youth for uh, students that will be the first in their family to go to college. They are looking for current juniors to apply to their program. There will be an informational session tomorrow at lunch in the Counseling Center. You are invited to come if you are a student who is a junior and has a 3.0 GPA or higher and have the goal of applying to a four-year university. If you would like a front of the line pass, you can come and see me uh, tomorrow at the beginning of lunch. You can sign up on a clipboard, which is outside my office. We hope to see a lot of the class of 2019 at this meeting because we know that a lot of you are going to be applying to college next year. All right, now prom. I'm looking forward to this myself. So prom tickets are now $95 for one week only. Tickets must be purchased by April 20th. That's tomorrow. For the dance on April 28th. Okay, so get your prom tickets. And then we have grad night. Seniors who have put down a uh, down payment for grad night tickets, your ticket must be paid in full by tomorrow, Friday. Tickets not paid in full will be offered to students on our waiting list. So please stop by ASB at lunch or after school to complete your payment. Now I'm going to throw it over to Link Group. Hey, future link leaders, if you we are going to have interviews today after school, if you missed out on your appointment yesterday or don't know when it is, stop by 4-8 with to talk to Ms. Chan about scheduling. And tomorrow is our last day for interviews, so make time for your interviews. Thank you. And remember, Falcon, Falcon Beaver, catch it! it.